Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. Making perfect right angle cuts is something that every woodworker strives to achieve. And if you've got the Festal MFT3 and a pair of the Veritas Path Dogs from Lee Valley, then you should expect to get some excellent cuts time and time again. But what happens if you haven't got the Festal MFT3? What happens if you want to build your own custom workbench? Or perhaps you want to have one of those lumps of MDF that you can throw in the back of your van so you can produce those perfect right angle cuts using the path dogs wherever you might be. Well, I've had hundreds of people ask me if there's a simple way to create an accurate pattern of 20 millimeter holes so that you can make your own bench tops. Well, now I have the answer. It's the UJK path guide system as being manufactured by Axminster Tools and Machinery. Let me tell you all about it. Now, when you receive your UJK path guide system, this is what you get. You get a pair of steel rulers, and they've got metric graduations, and these have a CNC created pattern of three millimeter holes along their length, and these are at 96 millimeter centers. You get a 20 millimeter guide block. You get a 20 millimeter drill. You get a three millimeter guide block, three three millimeter guide pins, and an ordinary three millimeter drill. And this is the only item that has not been specially designed and specially manufactured in order to create the UJK path guide system. If you're going to create a complete pattern of holes over the whole of your bench top, then you will also need to have a pair of the small bench dogs made by Lee Valley, available from Axminster and available worldwide. And the only tools that you'll require will be a drill and a pair of ordinary small clamps. I'm now gonna whiz through the process that you use when you're using the path guide system. Uh, if you want to see it in a step-by-step -step fashion, I've made two videos that show how I went about creating my new custom tracks or cutting station. I'm sure most people remember Pythagoras from school and the fact that the 345 triangle has a right angle in its top corner. Well, with the path guide system, we're gonna use six, eight, and 10 as our figures, and it's still a right angle triangle. So throughout the use of the path guide system, remember it's six, eight, and 10. Now we're gonna use the path six to set up a pattern of three millimeter holes across our uh, work surface, which we are then going to enlarge to 20 millimeter holes. Now, in order to start the process off, we need to uh, develop our six, eight, and 10 rule as shown. Unfortunately, we don't have three path sticks. So what we're going to do is to start by clamping one path stick on one edge of our board and drilling a series of three millimeter holes through it. We can then take the two path sticks that come with the path guide system and arrange them as shown. And we'll use pins to keep them in the right position so we have the right angle at the top right hand corner. Once that's in position, we are going to clamp uh, the vertical uh, path stick and then we can then drill holes through it. We then end up uh, with our first uh, row and our first column of holes at right angles. We repeat the process on the left hand side and we then end up with our second column. We then need to do some checks and the first thing to do is put a path stick across the bottom and make sure that those pins fit neatly into the holes. Then we can do our 6, 8 and 10 check as shown. And providing everything's okay, we can proceed to the next stage and drill out the holes along that bottom path stick. Once we've done that, we can drill uh, the remaining holes between the top row and the bottom row. Then we end up with a, a complete pattern of holes as shown. We can extend the holes to the left and right, and we do that at the top and the bottom, and then fill in the holes in between. Now you don't need to have a full set of holes if you're building a custom top. And once you've got all the three millimeter holes that you need, you can then put the two path sticks to one side. And we're now going to use the 20 millimeter uh, guide uh, together with the 20 millimeter drill, a pair of the three millimeter pins, and, and you will probably also need to use a pair of the Veritas bench dogs. The process is very simple. You insert the drill into the drill block and you then position it so it's over the hole that you wish to drill. You then use uh, the 
the three millimeter pins uh, to make sure that the guide block is lined up with the holes to the left and right of the drill and once everything is locked in you can then go ahead and drill and you then move the uh, guide block uh, to the next position bearing in mind that you can't get a three millimeter pin through a 20 millimeter hole that you've already drilled uh, you'll find that you end up with every other hole uh, being enlarged to 20 millimeters then when you finish that phase, you move the drill to the second position. And this time you're going to use the Veritas bench dogs uh, to locate the drill guide and then you'll continue drilling. And when you've done that, you'll then end up with the perfect pattern of holes that you need for your custom bench, traxel cutting station, or maybe even your impromptu cutting station on the building site. And all the components are working together. When we're using the 20 millimeter guide block uh, with the uh, drill, well, the, the way that this fits into the bronze bushing is such that we've got the minimum of play. And so that's accurately spaced. And even the shaft of this drill has been ground uh, to a very high tolerance. And the center point of the drill has been designed to improve accuracy because it's got a three millimeter uh, diameter there and that's finding its way into those three millimeter holes that we drilled at the beginning. Then on top of that, uh, again, when we're using this block, we're either using the three millimeter pins or the equally as accurate Veritas uh, small bench dogs uh, to locate uh, this drill block. And so everything is being located very accurately indeed. Now the UJK path guide system is unique in that it gives every woodworker the opportunity to produce near CNC accurate results. Now I've made another video, it's in two parts, and it shows the system being used to create this track saw cutting station which I have behind me. And you're not limited to just making custom bench tops and uh, special track saw cutting stations and impromptu uh, cutting stations on the building site, but you can also create custom tops to help you with your jig work, to help clamping things square, and all sorts of other things. The lists are endless. Now at this point I want to say a personal thank you to everyone at Axminster Tools and Machinery. They've backed me in this project. Uh, it's been three years of work for me. After about one year I realized I had something which I thought was a goer and I approached Axminster and they were absolutely delighted to help. And we've been exchanging views, they've been giving me guidance, I've been making design changes and so on and so forth. And we've now ended up with a product which I am absolutely proud to recommend to you. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.